Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new edition of Shane's World, the weekly show where we break down the five biggest things in the world of pop culture that I, Shane St. Laurent, want to talk about. Now we got some big things this week, some Beverly Hills Cop news, some big, you know, Marvel, DC, Star Wars news, some other news, and the big topic this week is we're going to talk about weird, not racist fans of fantasy stuff, so make sure you stay tuned right after this. The first news story this week is that there is a new Beverly Hills Cop movie shooting. It's going to be put on Netflix late next year. It has started production. Of course, uh, Eddie Murphy is coming back and joining him is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That is the big news that they've started shooting. Joseph Gordon-Levitt's joining the cast. And I, I have to assume JGL is going to be playing like the more serious cop. Like there was always a more serious cop in the original three. I feel like that's probably going to be his role in this one. And maybe, maybe even he's like almost the more focus of the movie and Eddie Murphy's kind of like the, like a detective or like the chief of the police by now because let's face it Eddie Murphy's no spring chicken am I excited for this movie yes do I think it's gonna be good I don't know I love the first Beverly Hills Cop it's a great freaking movie the second one's pretty damn good the third one definitely is a big big step down quality wise but for me personally I liked coming to America the new one I know a lot of people didn't but for me it worked it was it as good as the first one absolutely not but for me it worked for the most part so I'm glad Eddie Murphy's back Dolomite is my name was fantastic coming to America worked for me I'm looking forward to his new movie coming out soon with Jonah Hill and then this will be his next one after that I'm excited. I'm just glad Eddie Murphy is back. I do have high hopes for this one, and I can't wait to see Eddie Murphy come back to stand-up comedy. Jumping over into some Marvel news, we got an update on the Wonder Man TV show that's being developed by the director of Shang-Chi and the director of the upcoming Avengers Kang Dynasty. Of course, Wonder Man, uh, I think his name is Simon Rex in the comic books. I know his first name's Simon, but I'm a little lost on the last name. But, of course, he was introduced, like, way back in, like, Avengers number 8, somewhere around there. He was introduced very early by the MCU. He was a businessman's son that kind of was mad that Tony Stark's company kept winning, and then Zemo gave him powers and all this. I don't know if they're going to follow that, but he's an actor in the more refreshed, rebooted version of Wonder Man in the comic books. And this makes sense because Trevor Slattery, the best actor inside of the MCU, is going to be joining the Wonder Man show. That's right. Ben Kingsley is reprising his role from Iron Man 3, from Shang-Chi. It makes sense with the director connection. And now he is coming in to reprise his role for Wonder Man as well. This definitely makes me believe they're going the more actor route for Simon Wonder Man and just I think that's cool. It would almost be cool if it was, like, them competing for jobs and stuff. I don't know if they'd be going for the same roles exactly, but I think this is a good idea. This is a fun way to bring Ben Kingsley back into the fold. I just hope he brings his cuddly little alien buddy from Shang-Chi with him. Now, I'm curious as to who they cast as Wonder, Wa Wonder Man. We might get that announcement at D23, but more about that in a separate video. Jumping on over to DC, some HBO Max news has been very controversial lately. They've been canceling stuff, the acts of Zaslaw has been what people have been calling it because he's just canceling everything he canceled Batgirl kicked Batman caped Crusader to the curb which we talked about here on the show last week but we have one that they are saving Harley Quinn the animated series is sticking around it's about to finish up its third season it's got like two more episodes left and now we have word that it is returning to HBO Max the service for a fourth season this is great news i love harley quinn the animated series i think it's hilarious it's one of the best shows on tv that most people aren't watching for some reason it's an incredible show and i'm very very happy hbo max and zaslav have decided to keep it around i hope it keeps going too i hope we don't just get a fourth season i hope we get a fifth a sixth a seventh season it's animated so what the hell as long as it's staying fresh staying funny and staying entertaining why not keep this show going and that seems to be what they're doing at least for right now harley quinn will be returning with a season four Hopefully sometime towards the end of 2023. I hope there's not another really long wait. Harley Quinn's first season on HBO Max is this third season. Of course, it started off as a DC Universe show. And it's honestly the only one that's really worked for me so far. Star Girls, I it's I. Uh, uh, but Titans and Doom Patrol don't really work for me anymore. Swamp Thing did work for me, but that didn't even make it to the jump to HBO Max. But Harley Quinn gets to survive season four coming next year. More DC news, something else that got canceled, unfortunately, is DC Fandom, the big virtual event they've held the last two or three years, where they kind of 
break down the future of DC. They show off some trailers. They show some first looks. They announce some new things. And the last two have been really cool events. They've actually outshined San Diego Comic-Con in the last few years, in my opinion. Probably because they've been virtual. But apparently this is not something uh, David Zaslav is, in is interested in doing this year. Which blows my freaking mind. Because you'd think if there was ever a year that DC needed something like this. It would be this year where everyone has no faith in DC. Everyone thinks it's a mess. There's no plan. Apparently they have a 10 year plan. But they haven't even hired the person that's going to make that 10 year plan yet. So who knows what's going on over there. We know we got Black Adam coming. But. Honestly, outside of The Rock's Instagram page, I don't see anyone talking about, like, excitement over Black Adam. I was personally really excited for Shazam uh, 2, because Shazam, the first one, is my favorite DC film out of, like, the Sense Man of Steel stuff. And every time it gets pushed back, I care just a little bit less. Like, I already think it's coming out too late. They should have jumped on a sequel, like, right away. And now they keep pushing it back because Avatar is all the IMAX screens. It's like, eh, I don't know if I buy that. Aquaman 2, who really gives a flying fart about that movie at this point? The Flash, who the hell knows what's going on with The Flash? Like, we have no idea what's going on with DC. And now they cancel this event to show off the future of DC. I don't even think they know what the future of DC is at this point. Right now, I don't think there is a plan at all. I think they have, like, these movies that have been shot. I think they're going to release those. Blue Beetle's another one. Uh, and post that, I don't think they have plans right now. I really don't. I don't think they have any idea what they're going to do after Aquaman 2 comes out next Christmas. And it's it's kind of scary and it's kind of weird. They should have had this. I know it's a new regime, but they should have been on the ball years ago at this point. But they just they're so reactionary. One bad movie comes out and they scrap everything every time. It's ridiculous. And they just need to get they need to get moving. They need to get moving. I don't care what they do. Just do something and do it. I don't care if it's awful. Just actually do something. And uh, yeah, that's the DC news. <laughs> Jumping on over to some terrible fans. That's right. The last few weeks since House of Dragons, that's what really started it percolating around. She-Hulk, it's a different type of thing, but then Lord of the Rings came out this past Friday, and it really got running around. Even on my, like, personal Facebook page, I see people talking about this, and it's just, uh, it just bugs me. She-Hulk's a little bit of a different thing. She-Hulk's more like a, uh, why is it a woman kind of deal. That's not really what we're here to talk about, but it's in the same, it's in the same family. It's kind of connected, um... So here we go. <laughs> if you're racist, buckle up, tiny penis, because it's about to get real. House of Dragons comes out. Everyone's like, oh, this show's cool. The dragons look sick. The story's interesting. All these accolades and praises are heaped onto it. The one complaint I see, the one complaint I really see, is about the one, one black person on the show. Uh, the I, I don't know the character's full name. He's a Valerian. He's on a... Uh, the king's like high council and people are complaining like oh there want to be a black man on the high council at this period in time what period in time it's fictional there's a fucking dragon flying overhead and you're complaining there's a black man sitting in a castle talking to the king who gives a fuck who cares who gives a shit i certainly don't sorry youtube i know you're gonna have to really really not recommend this video because it's full of the swear words but you know what I'm angry, I'm salty, I'm tired of people being ass faces and saying they're not racist, but I just don't want black people in my shows. I want whites, whites only, white walkers only. And then Lord of the Rings comes out, and again, praise, looks great, this person's great, this looks dope, I like the story, this, this, that, and the other thing. The only real complaints I see was in the first episode, why is there a black elf? Why not? Why why wouldn't there be a black elf? Why is it all got to be white elves? And then in the second episode, same thing. A black dwarf's on screen for like 15 seconds and people had their dicks in a bunch because there's a black dwarf. Who cares what color these things are? They're fictional fucking creatures. Who cares? Who gives a rat's ass what color they are? And personally, the black elf is my favorite character on Rings of Power so far. He's really the only one I feel connected to, and Gladriel and Elrond are right there. They're right there, and I don't really feel that connected to them so far. But the black elf, the oh my god, not a black elf, is my favorite character on the show so far, and the only one that I actually kind of care about so far. And as for House of Dragons, shut up. Just shut up about that. Like, come on, Jesus Christ. But Rings of Power has been the one that's like really getting it. I see people being like, I'm not racist. But it kind of takes me out of the experience to see these black people running around. What experience? The, the, your fictional world of only white people? Is that the experience you want to have? Well, I hate to break it to you people, but that's not a world. That's not a true world at all. 
It's not at all a true world. It's not our world. It's not a fantasy world. And then I and then I love this. Tolkien never, uh, you know, wrote about the black people in these uh, books from the, the late 1800s. Really? A book from the late 1800s didn't have prominent black characters? Who could have guessed? But you know what else it didn't have? Legolas sliding around like a fucking Power Ranger, knocking arrows into people. But everyone thought that was the coolest thing ever when it happens to Lord of the Rings. Myself included. But guess what? Wasn't in the books. Wasn't in the books at all. You know what else wasn't in the books? Black people. You know what else is totally cool? And one of the best parts of the goddamn show? The black people. So just... And She-Hulk's kind of the same thing. It's just a woman instead of a black person. It's like, oh, they, 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 they got to make everything a woman nowadays. Thor's got a woman variant. Hulk's got a woman variant. While you're stuffing your fat fucking face with some hot Cheetos. Shut up. Shut up. If you don't like it, if it's not your white supremacist land that you wanted to see, don't watch it. Go watch something else. Go watch Duck Dynasty on Fox News or whatever the fuck it landed on and shut up. Shut your sloppy shit lips and the rest of us can enjoy our fucking shows with black people and women and Latino people and Asian people and all the different ethnicities and sexual identities that there are out there because we're not terrible people. I'm not racist. Yes, you are. Now, please, if you're subscribed, unsubscribe and go fuck yourself. But do send me some hot Cheetos. Thank you all guys for watching. I'll see you guys right here next time. Thank you.